I think the feel of Red Resort and the culture and the vibe that you get here is a follow through of it being a ski club. And it also being a place where people ventured into the mountains before there was a ski club. And the fact that these cabins are still here gives people a feel for that history and a warmth and a vibe of the ski culture that exists here today, which links Rossland with the Red Resort, with the history of the area. There's about 15 of them up in the Friends of the Ross and Range area that are being rebuilt, but there's nine of them within the bounds of the ski resort. But if you go to the cabins, it really takes you back to when skiing was established here in this area and how it evolved. And many of the cabins were put up in places where people didn't ski or they hunted and trapped and skied in the winter. Sometimes you can find that the owners are there and you can knock on the door and they're very gracious and welcoming and they will show you around the cabin and, and give you the history of the place. Yodel Inn was built in 1944 by my father and four other men and it was the last cabin built in Squaw Basin. I've been coming here since I was old enough to make it up the original trail on skins, so over 60 years, myself and my sister, and we'd come up as a family and spend holidays here. The cabin was built around 1937, for mainly for ski, skiing and ski touring, before the chairlift and the runs were even here. One time they were gonna burn it down, the forestry. They landed out here with a helicopter. In them days, you weren't allowed to have cabins, so they were gonna torch them all. I knew they were they were doing this, so I stayed in the cabin and the helicopter landed out here, and I told them I wasn't gonna leave. So the cabin was originally built by uh, a gentleman by the name of Tom Calhoun back in August, September of 1938. So the cabin is almost 80 years old now. It's used by many of people. I've had people from all over the world stop by the cabin and sign the log. Every time you talk to someone in one of the cabins, you learn more and more and it sort of leads further and further. I've skied here for over 25 years now and it's that connection that we have between Red and Rossland, that integrated feel. It's really one of a kind. <laughs>